Welcome to the world of microorganisms. In microorganisms, also called microbes, we have useful microbes, harmful microbes, and disease-causing microbes. So, microbes or microorganisms, free online lessons for stress-free learning. Microbes are also called microorganisms. Why? Because they are very, very small. Very, very small in size. But they are living things. And they are so small that we cannot see them with our naked eyes. We can see them only at a high magnification using a powerful microscope. This is a microscope. Disease-causing microbes are called pathogens. Now, microbes are present everywhere. Air, water, soil, on our skin, inside our bodies. And it is impossible to find a place free of microbes. So, where do we find microbes? Microbes in air, which goes inside when we breathe. Microbes in soil. Microbes in water. Even microbes in space. And microbes on and in our bodies, on the skin, in the air passage, in the mouth cavity or oral cavity, in the gut or intestine. Microbes are found everywhere, on our skin, inside our bodies, in space, in water, in air, in soil. Now, the uh, main types of microbes are bacteria, fungi, it is also pronounced fungi or fungi, bacterium singular, bacteria plural, Fungus is singular, the plural is pronounced fungi, fungi or fungi, protozoa and viruses. The other two, these two are not in the syllabus. We have got viruses, bacteria, fungi or fungi or fungi and protozoa and these two are not in the syllabus. Now, first of all, let us take virus. Virus, what disease they cause? HIV or AIDS, hepatitis B infecting liver, Ebola virus, severe bleeding and organ failure, adenovirus causing common cold, influenza virus causing flu, rabies, the dog bite, and bacteriophage, the only useful virus is the phage virus. Why it is useful? The only beneficial are phage virus, also called bacteriophage, because it can infect and kill harmful bacteria. This phage virus can kill harmful bacteria and sometimes they are used in place of antibiotics. So, they are useful because they kill harmful bacteria, the phage virus or bacteriophage. Now, viruses, very small, very, very, very small and you can see them only under very powerful microscopes. Multiplies only inside cells of plants and animals. Only when inside the cells of plants and animals, the virus will multiply. It can exist for years as inert or inactive outside. If it is outside the plant or animal cell, it will be inert or inactive and it will become again active when it enters a cell of a living organism. So outside the cell it is inert or inactive but once it enters the cell it can become active again. So sometimes they are regarded as intermediate between living and non-living. Non-living when it, they are outside the living cells and living when they are inside the living cells. 
ultra-filterable means they can pass through the minute pores of even the finest filters. Some viruses may infect and destroy bacteria. That's what we were talking about, bacteriophage or phage viruses. In most cases, no specific cure. We do not have usually a specific cure for these viruses. So what diseases they cause? Chickenpox, measles, influenza, dengue, poliomyelitis or polio, often causing paralysis, hepatitis or liver infections, common cold, viral fever, AIDS and also COVID-19, the coronaviruses. Now, although mosquitoes spread both malaria and dengue, malaria is a protozoal disease, while dengue is a viral disease. And dengue is caused by viruses and malaria is caused by protozoa, but both are spread by mosquitoes. Next, we have bacteria, singular bacteria. Singular bacteria, plural bacteria. Now, bacteria may be of different shapes. Round shaped or spherical, rod shaped. It may be spiral or comma shaped or vibrio. There's round shaped, singular coccus. They are rod shaped, singular bacillus. And vibrio or comma shaped. For instance, the round bacteria, pneumonia, the rod shaped the rod shaped bacillus typhoid, the comma shaped vibrio cholera, and the corkscrew shaped spirulum, for instance, H. pylori causes stomach upset. Now there are some bacteria which are useful. These are useful or beneficial bacteria, changing milk to curd, lactobacillus. They make vitamins in the body. They help digest cellulose in animals which eat grass and leaves. And they also help decay of organic matters, organic wastes, what we call biodegradable. Biodegradable means it can be degraded or decayed by bacteria and returned to the environment. The useful uh, elements could be returned to the environment. So biodegradable decay of organic matters by bacteria. Harmful bacteria may grow in stale food. That means food which was prepared some time back but the food was not preserved properly. It was not put in the fridge or something. It was not preserved properly. Stale food. Harmful bacteria may grow and eating such food may cause food poisoning. Food poisoning is caused when you eat stale food not preserved properly, not kept properly. Stale food, food made many hours ago or uh, a few days ago, if it is not preserved properly, harmful bacteria will grow and eating them will cause food poisoning. Next we have protozoa, singular protozoon or protozoan. Singular protozoon or protozoan. Protozoa are single celled or unicellular organisms. Single celled organisms or unicellular organisms. Some of them cause diseases. All of them do not cause diseases but some of them will cause diseases like malaria, dysentery and African sleeping sickness. We have the plasmodium causing malaria. We have the entamoeba causing dysentery. We have the giardia also causing dysentery. And trypanosoma causing the African sleeping sickness. So these are protozoa. Some of them may cause diseases like plasmodium spreading malaria, entamoeba causing dysentery and trypanosoma causing African sleeping sickness. Fungus, singular, fungus is singular, plural, fungi, fungi or fungi, all the three pronunciations are correct, fungi, fungi or fungi, and non-green plants, no chlorophyll means no photosynthesis, no chlorophyll, no photosynthesis, non-green plants, some of them spoil our food, for instance, see the bread, 
it has been spoiled fungal growth hmm? fungi growing on the bread spoiling the food you may see thread like whitish patch in stale bread but the diseases athletes food say this ringworm say this they also may cause nail infections say this nail and they may enter the lungs and cause tb like symptoms they are a kind of tb tb like diseases if they enter the air passage and enter the lungs so athlete's foot ringworm fungal nail infection fungal infection with aspergillus if the lungs get infected causing something like a non typical tb these are the common diseases now useful all the fungi or fungi or fungi all are not harmful they are useful man yeast baking yeast is used in baking bread and cake antibiotics they cure infections this is the penicillin which is used for antibiotics and this is a yeast used for baking breads organic acids aspergillus and some mushrooms are used as food some of them are used as food so yeast may be used for making bread or cake for instance this one antibiotics which can cure infection for instance this organic acid from aspergillus and some mushrooms which can be used as food infections are dangerous leading to disability or death so visit hospital or clinic for right treatment do not take medicines of your own always take the advice of a doctor and that is a way to stay healthy <coughs> so we'll come back with more such videos till then thank you and goodbye